Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Very famously within our community, Larry Garfield wrote a blog post called Getting Off the Island. And it's the point at which he said, we've got to stop reinventing all these wheels, um, solving all these problems that other communities very, very close to us have already solved. And fast forward a year or two, Drupal 8 is in beta. Mm -hmm. It incorporates all sorts of other technologies, all components from Symfony, um, uh, and and many other projects, even more external libraries than ever before. I'm starting. I think of it now as a as a meta project. Um, I believe that this has also kicked off, or or really added fuel to this thing that some of us are calling the PHP Renaissance. Mm -hmm. All of the communities are starting to talk together. There are new P all PHP conferences springing to life. Um, how did that look from, from your kind of outside of Drupal perspective, the Drupal community pulling itself together in this way? I, I, I guess the, the easiest analogy to, to explain was it's like when Moses parted the Red Sea. And now we can see the, the, on the other side, and we can see yeah, all these projects working together is wonderful. Um, I, I've been trying uh, since I was working at PHP Architect. Uh, like I said, me and Marco and Keith ran it. And um, one of our goals was trying to bring, I don't want to say outlying communities, but these other communities that use PHP is the best way to do it because I don't want to disrespect any of them. But they all identified as I'm a Drupal developer, I'm a WordPress developer, I'm a Zen framework developer, you know? Um, and, and nobody. They, they didn't acknowledge that, you know, underneath all of that is PHP. And if you don't know PHP, you're not going to get very far in any of these other communities. I'm just pleased to see that this is happening because I was trying from the PHP side. And in, I, there was no way I could drag these people in. They just weren't interested. And then when I saw Larry started um, his efforts, and I'm like, Yes, somebody gets it. Now, he did steal PHP Renaissance from me. I used it in my keynote at Sunshine PHP one time. I was talking about the fact that it's a wonderful time to be a PHP developer because um, th there for a while, uh, the core had lost its way. Uh, we had, we lost several um, very high core members that were, uh, well, they weren't high, but, you know, high-ranking core members. We and, are in <laughs> Amsterdam today. Well, yeah, there's that. But um, we lost several high-ranking core members, um, and, and the core couldn't figure out what they were doing, you know. And, and it, it, we kind of floundered for a few years. The core has got their stuff together now, uh, thanks in no small um, uh, part to um, Liz Smith. I mean, there's a lot of people done a lot of things, but Liz was actually mentoring people to be core developers. And um, so she, I always give her uh, credit for this. But now the core, you know, we have RFPs now. We, PHP is no longer a scratch your own itch language. People, we, we have a, um, a we, we're getting a language spec thanks to Facebook. We're getting regular releases, and people are starting to sit up and take notice. And the the benchmarks on the next version look phenomenal. Yeah, you know, and and so and that that is due in no small part to the fact that Facebook said, "Screw it! If you're not going to do this, we're going to do it." You know, and then the core woke up and said, "Well, we can do this." You know, so whoever, regardless of who gets the credit for it, it's a great time to be a PHP developer. And I, I was mentioning this. I said. We're now in a PHP renaissance. And Larry came up to me later. He says, I'm going to steal that. So you go for it. No, no it's open so, source. Uh, we're, we're, yeah, yeah. It's not stealing. You know? We're building on the shoulders of giants. Exactly. And uh, But it is a wonderful time to be a PHP developer. I am so thrilled. Um, and getting back to bringing the communities together, I was trying to do it from the PHP side and drag everybody in. And that doesn't work. But the Drupal community has said, we're going to widen our reach. They, the, the Drupal community is not moving, but they're opening up. 
And if we could get some of the other communities to open up also, there's a lot that we can learn from each other. Because you're right, the PHP community is famous for reinventing the wheel. I've got a closet full of wheels. I don't need to reinvent any more wheels. People have already done this. So let's all learn from each other. And uh, my friends at PHP that are running PHP Architect now, um, Eli White um, and his friends, I'm sorry guys, Sandy and Oscar, there, I got them all. Um, they're having, uh, you're, you're keynoting at their new conference, which is trying to bring all these communities together. And Andy Nason is also keynoting from the WordPress side. So I, I'm glad to see efforts being made and efforts starting to pay off. So it, it, I always knew that Drupal is this amazing collection of really smart people and with really crazy innovative ideas. Uh, it wasn't clear to me in the early years in my involvement that um, it, we were really, really isolated. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited with this opening up idea that people like Larry and uh, hundreds and thousands of other brilliant Drupalists, actually their influence can really spread now. Mm -hmm. And I think somehow that with this opening up, uh, it turns out Drupal generates a lot of gravity somehow. And, and so over the last um, year, 18 months, Symphony people are showing up at Drupal cons. Yep. PHP people are showing up at Drupal cons. Drupal people are showing up at Symphony events and, and I'm sure at other technology events too. It's, it's very exciting. And someone like Larry gets to work on the Symphony routing component. Hey presto, Symphony CMF gets a better routing component. Easy Publish gets a better routing component. Uh, open source is uh, happening. Absolutely. And it, 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 the more that Larry gets out there and speaks, and um, David Strauss spoke at um, Lone Star, the more we can get Drupal people out speaking at PHP um, in, in specific events, what I'm seeing is more buzz. I'm starting to hear developers in conversations that I'm talking with them. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll start with, um, hey, I did this, and hey, I use Symphony, and well, you know, Drupal's built on Symphony now, and all of a sudden, Drupal is part of a lot of the conversations that I'm having, and that's exciting to me because I, I like Drupal, and I like a lot of the people in the Drupal community, and it's like the more all of us can work together, you don't have to call yourself a PHP developer. You can still be a Drupal developer. That's not my, that what you call yourself is not my point. The fact that we have, we're starting to tear down these walls and we're starting, like, like you said, we're starting, stopping reinventing these wheels and starting to work together. I think this is awesome. And the, um, the Drupal, the API initiative that you, um, that is built in Drupal 8 is going to be a game changer. And that's going to open, it, to me, that opens as many doors as building REST APIs did for PHP originally, because all of a sudden you now have this entire CMS that's headless. Yeah, I don't have to do all of that. The 80% of every project that is exactly the same, that's already built in Drupal. Right, let me just take that, and then I can do the 20% that is the fun stuff that makes my project special. Yeah, and, and the architecture of Drupal 8 makes it, from my perspective, a user interface for building digital businesses. Yes. It is a user interface for making APIs and web services, consuming them, uh, outputting them, and that's incredible. And the one thing where I believe that the Drupal community is going to remain incredibly stubborn mm -hmm. is that we are not a developer project for de to enable developers to do more developing. We are a bunch of developers who've put this system together to empower non-developers to communicate, to build community, to take action in the real world with our technology. That's excellent. Right, so we will remain the point and click community <laughs> in the back end, but uh, we can also see in incredible examples of people taking advantage of that technology and, mm -hmm. and being their own advocates, doing building their own businesses, whatever it is. Yeah. And I love being part of a technology, and I mean PHP in this case, and I mean open source, with all of these open source technologies, our LAMP stack, mm -hmm. and all of our all of the other stuff that we're putting together to make digital experiences, the web, device, whatever it's called now. Mm -hmm. It's not just the internet anymore, is it? It's Anyway, it's our digitally connected world. I'm so proud to be a part of that and part of the movements that have taken this really abstract code stuff and 
are changing the world and, and in the best case, also changing it for the better. Yes. I contend that we have taken on a lot of responsibility that we might not be living up to yet. Um, talking about privacy, talking about control of your devices, talking about um, data in all its myriad um, and dangerous forms. Mm -hmm. But I also believe that we have the power to do all that better and to make the world a safer uh, place for all of us and a better place for, for a lot of people. I agree. And um, the keynote that I gave at Sunshine PHP last year, I, I end with the fact that one of the reasons I love being a developer is it becomes my job to make other people's lives better. What we do impacts everybody, you know, and so we need to do it well because that means that their lives are better. They don't have to worry about these problems. If they want a publishing platform, they want to say something. They can click, they can install Drupal, they can get it up and running, and they can get to publishing, which is what they want to do. What we want to do is write code. Yep. You know, so it's a win for everybody. But it, it's just wonderful for me to be a developer and, and to think, you know, what I do has an impact on other people, a positive impact. Because you know, there's a lot of things I do that have negative impact. So no, we have a positive impact on people. <laughs> That's for a different podcast. <laughs> Great. Hey, thanks again. Thank you. Thanks again. If one, one more time. Thanks again. <laughs> I mean, I figure. Okay. Yeah, we can't go much more than 20 minutes. I can't suck in my stomach for much longer than that, so. <laughs> <laughs>